Good evening, my dear friends, and welcome. And thank you for joining us for evening prayer on this Wednesday evening. And I see that Sister Sue has logged in. And for those who've not logged in, you are very welcome. So we come now to our evening prayer and we light a candle, especially for peace in the Middle East. And we say to that lighted candle, the beautiful Celtic opening prayer. My frame was not hidden from you when I was being made in secret, intricately woven in the depths of the earth. Your eyes beheld my unformed substance. So let us just pray and be still in the presence of God. And now we come to our evening prologue of our brother and sister Essenes of Mount Sinai. We enter the eternal and infinite garden with reverence to the heavenly Father, Mother, God, the earthly mother and all the great masters and reverence to the holy, pure and saving teaching and reverence to the brotherhood and sisterhood of the elect. And Wednesday evening, bear with me, I was on the wrong page. I was actually on Tuesday evening. Silly me. So Wednesday evening, we commune with the angel of love, saying, angel of love, descend upon my feeling body and purify all my feelings. While this is being recited, the feeling body both sends and attracts superior currents of feeling energy to and from all beings on earth and all those in the cosmic ocean of love. So let us just reflect on the angel of love bringing to you and me the gifts of God's love. How lovely is that? So let us be still. Be still and know that God is with us.
forget you my people I will never forget you my people I have carved you on the palm of my hand those words are true and so many times we need to hear those words because we forget we're human we have a finite mind and sometimes when we're being plagued by one problem on top of another problem, we so easily get disheartened and forget our soul's purpose, that we are here, passing through this incarnation. But it's not our permanent home. And our Father, Mother God, who carved us in the image and likeness of themselves affirm within us that we are not left as orphans but that we are loved so let's read our first reading for today the 19th of November and it's from Psalms today by J Mark Martin Psalm 135, praise the Lord, hallelujah, that's Hebrew for praise the Lord. Praise pleases the Lord, we can never give God too much praise. The church, he says, I grew up in, would sing the hymn known as the doxology every week. Praise God from whom all blessings flow. Praise him, all creatures here below. Praise him above, ye heavenly host. Praise Father, Mother, Son, and Holy Ghost. Francis Schaeffer said, One day all Christians will join in a doxology and sing God's praises with perfection. But even today, individually and corporately, we are not only to sing the doxology, but to be the doxology. Encouraging words, but beautiful words nonetheless. So coming to our little book of Celtic prayers, there's a beautiful opening prayer, which I sh should have said earlier, but I guess I got carried away with the beautiful song by Marilla. I have carved you in the palm of my hand. You are the love of each living creature, O God. You are the warmth of the rising sun. You are the whiteness of the moon at night. You are the life of the growing earth. You are the strength of the waves of the sea. Speak to me this night, O God. Speak to me your truth. Dwell with me this night, O God. Dwell with me in love. Let us just reflect on those beautiful words and allow the Spirit of God speak to us as we now listen to the beautiful message from Jesus, the Cosmic Christ, 
who channeled a beautiful message to Father John Woolley in his beautiful little book, I Am With You. And he says this today, my spirit in you will develop if you will allow it. Many gifts, gifts which I can use, my presence will mean a heightened expression in you of those human qualities which point to my existence. Your growing love, patience, courage, self-sacrifice will be available for my other children. You may not recognize the development of those gifts, but others will. They will be filled with wonder at what my presence in a life, working sometimes from virtually nothing, can achieve. Everything that is achieved through the gifts I develop in you will be known for its lasting quality. Hearts won for me, hope restored in darkened lives. These will be of real achievements when seen in the perspective of eternity. My child, I tenderly bless you now, making you strong to bless others. And in Matthew's Gospel, chapter 5, verse 13, we read, You are the world's salt. You are the world's salt. So now let us just be still and come into the presence of God. And remembering the beautiful words in our readings, our webinar at 10 o'clock every evening when we're looking at the Christian mystics, Meister Eckhart shared this with us the other night. He said, of all the prayers that we can say, the two words that become a real prayer are the words, thank you. It is the greatest prayer to God to say those words, thank you, God. So let us now thank Almighty God as we come into God's presence and in faith we surrender who we are in our availability and in our vulnerability. We come to our intercessions and we trust that what we ask for in prayer believing, we will receive. And for those who've not logged in, remember the Father, Mother, God, the angelic realm, your spiritual teachers all want to help you, but they cannot until you initiate the request. You were given the gift of free will so you have to choose. And if you need help, now is the time to ask. And if something is troubling you, name it, bless it, release it in mindful gratitude to God, giving thanks. You are above me, O God, you are beneath. You are in air, you are in earth, you are beside me you are within, O God of heaven. You have made your home on earth in the broken body of creation. Kindle within all of us a love for you in all things. Let us recall the events of today and pray for the care of the earth. And now as we come before you, we pray for all your requests. And Sister Sue has said she just spoke to her dear Aunt Evelyn, who seems more positive. She's going to have more treatment. Well, thank you, God. That was a brave decision that must have taken a lot of time and energy. So we bless Aunt Evelyn and that this will be the miracle that we've all been praying for. And with Sister Sue, she says, our John, has looked at some houses in Blackpool and liked one in particular. We pray now 
that it is the right one for John and that doors will be opened for him, that God's light will shine and that the key will be presented to John. And now we pray especially for our dear sister Nirmala, whom we trust is home from hospital. We pray for Kidar. But we also remember this evening our other members who are unwell or troubled. We pray for Sister Lindsay, for her husband Dave, they thought he was having a heart attack as she was live on Monday evening doing the card readings. And they admitted him to hospital on Monday evening, but thankfully it wasn't, it was just an acute virus. So he's home now recuperating. So we pray for Linz and we pray for Dave, her husband. We also remember our dear sister Karen, from North Carolina who went live every Tuesday night on Doves for Peace, sharing about the hermetic life. Sister Karen was a poor clearing clothes nun for 38 years and now lives the life as a hermit with her husband Paul. We pray for Karen as she's being investigated for cancer of the Judene. And we pray for Paul her partner. Let us remember Eleanor and Elizabeth, remember dear Miriam in New Zealand, and we pray for all the members of our community past and present. We remember all our brothers and sisters who are members of Heart to Soul Prayer Partners for Peace and the Franciscan Soulmates for Peace. And I want to personally thank Almighty God for all the beautiful presenters that we've been supporting, mentoring, nurturing every day for the last six weeks. Even until the late hours due to the time zones, we have a beautiful team of presenters now for our amazing channel, Doves for Peace virtual TV channel. And we pray that the new website will be okay. And in the next coming few days, when we've received the feedback from our presenters, if anything needs to be changed, that it will be blessed and touch many lives. So we thank God for this channel. It is our gift to God for peace and for unity in the world. And this evening we pray for Reverend Karen Barrett, who's live from London on Doves for Peace at eight o'clock. We pray now for the children of our world. We pray for their protection from pedophiles and predators. We pray for the whole family of God who are hurting, who are wounded in mind, body and spirit. Let us pray for peace, for peace between Israel and Palestine, for peace in Syria, in Iraq, in Egypt, in Libya, in the Sudan. Let us bring the whole family of God in our prayers. Let us not be afraid to ask Almighty God to take care of us. For unless we ask, we don't receive. And now we will sing the Lord's Prayer. Sit 
gifts in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil Well, my dear brothers and sisters, we come now to the end of our evening prayer and we finish with the beautiful closing prayer from the little Celtic prayer book from Iona. May the grace of the love of the stars be mine. May the grace of the love of the winds be mine. May the grace of the love of the waters be mine in the name of the word of all life. Amen. And that, my dear friends, brings us to the end when we blow out our candle, but we blow peace, we blow love, we blow healing to one another. And then together we blow the peace of God to the whole family of God who are wounded in mind, body, and spirit. Peace be with you. Go in the peace of all that is sacred to you. Namaste, shalom, inshallah, patset bonum. Om Shanti, Solo di Carita, Salam Alaikum, and may the peace of our loving God reawaken in your heart that you are loved, carved in the image and likeness of God, and that you are free to love. Take care and God bless you. And if you're still awake, I hope to see you back here at 10 o'clock this evening for a continuation of the webinar on the Christian mystics. God bless you.